What's up, my wizards? This is Strictly Better MTG, and Ooh. we're here with... Tony. And Devin. And me, Random, with another set review for you for Blue. Blue! Yeah. Blue's looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to start so off heavy. with an amazing card. Yeah, this thing's crazy. Uh, <laughs> what's Take it going? Away. Uh, so yeah, we should out. give this to you. Just take uh, it away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is going to be Jace Vrin's Prodigy, and he's a prodigy. He's <laughs> awesome. I love this guy to death. Yeah, Tony's <laughs> all about this guy. Uh, I've been doing so much playtesting with this with this guy, he's easy to flip. I flipped him as early as turn, uh, well, technically four. Yeah. Uh, in uh, reanimation decks, running like Commune with the Gods and Tygum Scheming. Yeah, I was going to say, I have flipped him turn uh, three with the Commune with the Gods. It's entirely possible. Yeah, you can't flip him as um, early as turn three. But he's, honestly, I just played him in um, the Jeskai Walkers. He can flip very easily there with burn and things like God's Willing and stuff like that. So God's Willing. He's he's just so he really is good, especially once. Um, actually, on his way to flipping, he's really good too because looters oh, yeah. are good. They are good. And then once he flips, man. <laughs> and two toughness to like sit back and block the one power guys. It's to not bad. Go up against. It's it. no carry added, but it's cool. It's yeah, pretty good. It's still handy. Um. What's really cool is that he has five, five loyalty. loyalty. Yeah, when he With flips, which. that's huge. That, that's a big guy right there. And um, it kind of plays into how you have to flip him. Yeah, yeah. Especially, I love that you can you know loot stuff and then cast it out of your graveyard. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, although a lot of the times I like to get double value. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. in that red, in that Just Guy Walker's deck, I would just cast stuff and then can't recast it out of the graveyard. Which is just absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah. Um. I think it's really cool we were talking about this the other day. This is sort of magic Christmas thing. But it does happen. It does happen. You get his ultimate off, you cast a spell, and then you cast it out of the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, and you've just milled ten and cast two spells. So that's that's at least something. Or you cool. copy that spell, and then you cast <laughs> <Again>. <laughs> you cast it you cast out of the graveyard. twice. Um, his, his plus one isn't bad either. It's it's technically protecting himself, Yeah. which we always look for in a plus one. So. And it seemed a little undervalued at first when I first read it. And after playing with it, it's... Completely Cardis. undervalued. Card like, is that dumb. is great. Card is crazy, man. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying it's not great or whatever, but this card is really, really good. Yeah. Now, I don't. I, I did say in the deck tag that I don't like its interaction with cards like Dig Through Time. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you think, oh, you just loot him, just loot with him, all right, and then uh, Dig Through Time because you just looted with him, right? You just put mm -hmm. cards in your graveyard, you know. Um, but I really, really, really think his negative three is the best thing you could possibly do with him. And if you dig through time, it's going to be really hard to have uh, relevant cards in your graveyard that yeah. you can then cast out of your graveyard. Aside so, from that dig through time. Yep. Yeah, aside from that dig through time. I just have, I have some issues with that. Um, but I do think Jace will definitely see standard play. Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> this is Disciple of the Ring, one of the weirdest cards in the entire set. Um, I do not like her. Jace's girlfriend. Fair enough. Jace's girlfriend. Looks like Jace's girlfriend to me. Does. Um, but how do you, how do you feel? Jace's very angry girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you expect? Yeah. She's, she's not happy with what she's got to work with. <laughs> I'd be happy with Jace. Yeah, Jace. I mean, Jace. I'm talking about her. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. what? I think she's happy with him. Yeah. I, I would be you know, She. I like the first one. She's probably cute when she's not mad. Um, <laughs> but, uh, morphling, this is not. No, Morphling, this is not. Aetherling, this is not. But at the same time, this is still a good card. This is still just fine, in my personal opinion. Um, it's not the control finisher you wanted, but no, it's the control no. finisher you got, and you'll end up playing it and making it work. I Maybe promise. like post rotation. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, not now. Not not at all. Actually, post rotation will still have a Jutai. I just yeah. I don't I don't think this will ever really see like mainstream standard play. Yeah. Um, I mean it's really cool. It does a lot of stuff. I just don't know if any of the stuff it does is good enough. Um, maybe maybe limited turn five you tap their creature or turn yeah. Like she and Jace are always fighting, and I see why now that I've I, like she wants the instants and sorceries, and so does he. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we can probably move on. Yeah. Jonathan. This is a great card. Random. <laughs> Days undoing. Woo. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of people excited. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who love this card. Yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty freaking amazing, honestly. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's just it's, stupid looking. Uh, yeah. I hate that it ends the turn. I absolutely hate that it ends the turn. Mm. So much. It is bad that it ends the turn, but at the same time, if you plan for that, yep. it doesn't matter. I just, you know, the problem is that, you know, they draw the seven and then they immediately get to go. Yeah. Before you. And I just, uh, yeah. 
That is a big uh, problem. Problem. Just use quicken and play it as an instant at the end of the turn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, the card. The card I'd will love, be. I'd love um, to do that. <laughs> one time, we're in favor of quicken. Yep. We never. Like, we never like. I actually don't think the card will do as much work as it looks like it's going to have. It's going to do. I, I just think it's really exciting. It, gets, it got people hyped. But all in all, I'm not really sure how much play this card's going to see. Um, uh, the big problem with this is it is counterintuitive to dig through time. Yeah, that's yet another thing that's counterintuitive, counterintuitive to, to delve. You know, you won't have a graveyard after you get done with this. And I just, there's so many. There's, there's really good for reanimators. I mean, I guess you could, um, no, it's not. What? Um, <laughs> so you won't have a graveyard. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, and graveyard, I'm sorry. Yep, I'm, and graveyard. And graveyard. It's just, it's, it's time twister. It's the exact same card as time twister, yeah. except it ends the turn. And that... Sucks. Yeah. That sucks horribly. Time Twister is like a combo enabler in a lot of ways and lets you keep going. And this literally says no to yeah. that. So I just I'm not really sure how much play it's really gonna see, but although I do I do see why it's got people excited. Um what is this? This is a hammeret, high arbiter. It's hammer time. Indeed it is. It is hammer time. Does it look like he's got a toilet lid on his head? <laughs> yeah. I can really see futuristic why funky toilet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can see why you think that, but his headdress is just nice. Yeah, it's a it's nice classy. headdress. Kind of looks like a blade sword from Halo. I can see. Oh, it does. Yeah, <laughs> it does look like that. <laughs> beam sword. I hate that thing, by the way. I stopped yeah. playing Halo Two because it's stupid. Uh, he'll just run up on you with a sword and kill you. Anyway, that's Halo. This is magic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't care that much for his effect, no. so I don't think he's going to see standard play and limited. This guy's. Fairly good. This guy's a pretty big bomb and limited. Yeah. Especially if they still have cards, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, if they still have cards in the hand seventh turn, or eighth or ninth, whenever this comes down, yeah. um, and limited, then it's fairly good, you know? Uh, but I, even if, you, even if they don't, you know, it's a 5-5 five, five flyer or whatever, it's, you'll probably play it limited. It's yeah. a big creature that more likely ends the game when it comes down. So. Yeah. Uh, this is Talent of the Telepath. Blue has so many yeah. cute cards. Um... And so many Jace flavored ones. Mm -hmm. They're all Jace flavored. I love, and I love it too. The art on it's cool. Like he's reading that Goblin's Mind. He's reading this Merchant's Mind. Yeah, the actual Dancer's flavor mind. here for this is that uh, he just got he just planeswalked for the first time, yep. and he ends up in Ravnica. Yep. And so he's uh, walking around telepathing everyone to yep. gain as much information as he can about the surrounding area. Exactly. I think that's really cool. Um, I, one thing I will say is that this is four mana mill seven. Uh, yep. No glimpse the unthinkable or anything, but it's a fine card. I mean, it's not a fine sculpt. No, exactly. Uh, that's, but I will say, being able to, especially if you can resolve this against other control decks, this it is, is bomb. Fine, this is a fine card. You'll you'll either draw into some sort of removal. You might draw into dig through time. Cast a dig through time off this. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, achievement unlocked. Cast talent of the telepath off of a talent of the telepath. That's an achievement for you right there. Um, <laughs> that, that mills them fourteen. And you get to cast almost maybe four things. You have spell magic. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not really sure how much standard play it sees, though. That, all things considered, though. All things considered, at best, it'd be a one-of sideboard card against other control players. Sure, but you'd have to resolve it. That's that's my only issue with it. Yeah. Um, and limited, I don't really like it that much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although milling seven and limited is pretty good. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> pretty good. That's, you know, and potentially one fifth you of the deck. Uh, their removal and <laughs> turn it against them, and that's pretty useful. Yeah. I mean, if you get extra value out of this, you're casting a card, it's not pretty good. I'd say that's good. What is this, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> this time we've got Displacement Wave. Woo, Displacement Wave. And uh, we got a blue X spell. Yay. Got, got a blue X spell. We get those occasionally, Curse of the Swine, you know. Yeah. But this is better. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a nice bounce thing. And it happens to do it with Planeswalkers as well, not just creatures. Yep. Oh, oh, and artifacts and Oh, and enchantments. Yep. Oh. oh, my God. This just got so good. It's so sweet. I feel like it's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think that maybe the blue tempo deck will play it, just because not only can the blue tempo deck utilize this to you know uh, reset the board more or less, mm -hmm. but most of blue tempo's creatures have some sort of end of the battlefield trickery mm -hmm. where you can play them with flash. You know, so I, I could maybe see this being a one two of in in a deck like that. I didn't include it, uh, but I could see it happening. In those decks, you usually have uh, devotion going and uh, Nykthos, yeah. so you can produce the mana to just nail everything. Everything, right? I mean, the, I could see this. Yeah, this is what happens after Moses got to the other side. Ha! Yeah. Ha! That's exactly what this art is, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Um, and limited, too, especially. Yes. This, is, yeah. this is a bomb. So I like Displacement Wave. I'm just not really sure. I'm not sold it'll see standard play, but if it does, it'll be one or two of, you know, we play Aether Spouts right now as a sideboard card. So I can, I can see it. Yeah. 
Harbinger of the Tides. Harbinger yeah. of the Tides. He's got that B.A. coral sword and the tentacles. He's so cool. He's got that um, awesome <laughs> two blue in his mana cost. I'll say this is one of the most purely um, constructed playable blue cards in the entire set. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. It's probably the one I'm most excited about. Mm -hmm. When you really think about it. I, I love this guy. I love when he comes down turn two against other aggro decks. I love when he comes down turn four as a flash guy in, mm -hmm. in combat. I mean, everything he does is good. Every single thing he does is good. Um, love it. Yeah. You know, these mana war type creatures, the things that return kings to your hand when they come into play, we always wanted them to have flash. Yeah. And this guy does. For a two more, so a kicker of two. That's, yeah, exactly. A kicker of two to make them have flash. That's, that's reasonable. And it's still very important on that turn, four mm -hmm. or five turn, you know. Mm -hmm. So, love it. Yeah. Love okay. Love this card. Might love be my it. favorite like blue card. Use it. I'm going to get this one over to Tony. Oh, all right. We got Jason Sanctum, and I love this card. He does. He I does. absolutely love it. He's a fool for this card. Yes. <laughs> uh, too foolish, some would say. Uh, because I planned a bant control, bant enchantment control type thing off of this, where you're casting lots and lots of uh, instants and sorceries and whatnot. It actually ended up becoming Teamer. Bant was just how it started. Well, yeah, it's even Teamer. Uh, and yeah, in Teamer, making all my uh, burn spells cost less. Uh, I'm in green, so I've got Herald of the Pantheon. And at the same time, being able to scry any time I cast something was just also made me great. Well, I mean, think about it. You play second turn Herald, you can follow it up with this. Yeah. I and mean, you use your whole third turn to do this, but still, I mean, that's, that's not a horrible follow up if you're setting up. Yeah. And I think turn three, you can still be setting up and it's okay. Yeah. Yep. You know, I just, I, especially in limited, you know, but I'm not, I'm still not sure about standard. I think if a deck plays this, It'll probably be a deck that can get a lot of value on the same turn out of it. You know, mm -hmm. not the same turn it comes down. Just something that can play, you know, three, four, five spells on the same turn because it yeah. has, you know, the ability to do it. And I just, I, I don't, the problem is it costs four. Yeah. You know, and I just, the stormy kind of decks that want to play this, it's it's a huge commitment. Yeah. yeah. If I'm going to play enchantment, I want it to cost three or less. Yep. Unless it does something really yeah. effing crazy. Then, this, then it's fine. This doesn't affect the board immediately. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really do anything for us. Yeah. And, you know. I will say, I have played this in Control as a one or two of and put it down late game. And it's been great. Well, I'm sure the Scry one is, like, really, really good. Right? Uh, well, not just that. Like, my Dissolves cost two. Yeah, I know. It's just late game. It's like, late game, you have the map. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I... It just lets you have more. Living. So, it doesn't help. It just... <clears throat> it's win more. Also, like turning every counter spell into uh, dissolve is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You scry one whenever you cast an instant yeah, sorcery. Oh, yeah. That yeah, seems yeah. fun. Uh, this is. I'm going to give it to John. I love this card. Yeah. I know. Mizium Meddler. Ooh. Everyone probably already knows what it is. <laughs> if you're playing FNM Friday night, you'll get one probably. Maybe. Like yeah. they, they, they're supposed to give them out. To you. Yeah, they're supposed to give them out to you, so you might get one. Oh, there's a promo. A promo. Card? That's oh, a promo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, this is amazing. It's, I think it is good. I think it's really good. It's a yeah. one four flash for three yeah. mana. Come on, Come and on, then its ability is just stupid. Yeah, it's I a just... reprint spell scout ability, and spell scout is amazing to this day in modern. Yeah. So the fact that this guy has flash, you only get one use out of it potentially. Oh, depending on that's what it very is, important. Okay. But it's yeah. still huge. I mean, they made this guy for toughness for a reason. Like yeah. if they lightning strike one of your dudes, this guy absorbs it and lives. Yeah. Um, even if, by the way, even if this guy doesn't live, it's not half bad. It's really, yeah. it's really not that bad. Yeah, it's basically a spell that's like prevent all damage to our creature, you know. Yeah. So I, that's not bad. I love, I mean, obviously Flash is uh, imperative on this card, but I think this goes in the sort of mono blue fish tempo-y, aggro-y thing that we see. It's not going to do much damage over the course of the game, but this I sort of look at as almost another Stratus Dancer in some ways. Mm -hmm. uh, to a degree. I, yeah, I, I really, I do like the card. I think it may, not guaranteed, but may see some play. Uh, it may be one of the weaker cards in the blue fish deck, but I think it's it's definitely um, an important card oh, for definitely. that deck. Yeah. And he's wearing a scuba mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Ooh, speaking of amazing limited oh, yeah. cards, Tony! Okay, now we got uh, Soul Blade Jin, Woo. and I love this guy in Limited. I want to see him in Constructed Standard. Mm. I don't think he'll make it, but I don't care. I still love him. He won't make it. I mean, look at that cost. We've got Icebreaker. What is it? Icefall Region. We got yeah. a Jutai. You know, I just there's plenty of better things we can be playing in that yeah. color at five. So he probably won't see Standard, but in Limited, this guy's fucking up. phenomenal. Yeah, you with us on that one? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Limited. I mean, I feel like if you pull this guy limited, you're almost certainly in blue. Um, also hilarious flavor text. 
He grants endless wishes, as long as you always wish for a blade. <laughs> that is not phoned in, and it's actually funny. Um, <laughs> let's talk about Thopter's Spy Network, which I do not think does enough things, but maybe in Commander people will like this. Um, always getting a woman flyer during your upkeep is fine. Uh, whenever one of those creatures does damage to a player, draw a card. That's probably fine, too. Um, uh, but altogether, I'm just not, I don't know. I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm too staunch, maybe I'm a uh, grump. But I just don't see spending my fourth turn to do this. I tried to make uh, the an actual like standard constructed Thopter deck mm. with this in there, and the problem with it was it's not an artifact. It, it itself did not help it. So yeah, if it was an artifact, and we could, uh, there's a guy that lets you. It wouldn't have the if you control an artifact thing. Yeah, but still, <laughs> mm. you just said put one. If people are saying this is like Bitter Blossom. No. 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 Guys. Stop it. Get a grip. It's not... This isn't Peter Plus. <laughs> Cut it out. Um, I'll be fine and limited. Oh, yeah. Fine and limited all day. Actually, if you, if you get this in limited and you're drafting that deck, like, this is crazy. Yeah. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, you mean drawing cards for all your thoughts. Yes. I mean, just getting a one flyer return in limited is absolutely yeah. bonkers. Yeah. This is Will Breaker, and I do not like this card. Um, some people do. I dislike her go. Uh... I'm going to agree with Devin here. I like her effect, but I think that the power toughness with the mana cost is off. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I do not. Why am I paying five mana for this, man? I don't like it. There was a card in uh, Lorwyn, which I thought we might get back with all the merfolk fairies and stuff like that. There's a Silver of Temptations. Four mana, 2-2 two, two flyer. When it comes mm -hmm. into play, uh, Silumgar or something, basically. You, know, you gain yeah. control of it until the Silver leaves play. Yeah. And I just want that back. I don't know why we couldn't just have that. That's, that's good. Can you, can you just Titan Strength one of the creatures and take it? And you absolutely could. Huge you absolutely you could. Yeah. And that's what I like. I can see doing that in Limited, maybe. Like, in Limited, yeah. I think this card is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This card okay. is great. But, I mean, still, they could, you know, remove it fairly easily. Yeah. They, they have to. You, you force them to remove this, or you will take over the entire game. So, it's probably fan freaking tastic in Limited. So, um, oh, speaking of fan freaking tastic in Limited, this is uh, Anchor to the Either. And I, you know, people are saying never, ever, ever will it ever see standard play. I don't I know. It might. You agree? I agree. I, I, I am, I'm like 90% of the way there, but in that like, in that same mono blue tempo fish deck, this is such a desirable thing. Like it sets I... them back a turn, they don't get to draw the card, I mean they don't get to draw what card they would have drawn. You essentially replace their draw step and get rid of a creature. And scry one. I, I mean, I just, I think there's a lot of things to like about the card. It's not an instant. Boo hoo. It's three mana. You know, we have better things to do on our third turn. Maybe I just, I'm not. But I'm not sold that this is god awful in standard. Oh no, I don't think it's god awful, but I don't think it's going to see play. I you know. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate. You know, I, I think you are. I, I want it. I want it to be good. It's just not. You know, it's strictly better. Time ebb. Time ebb is exactly that cost. For exactly that ability, but you don't scry one. Okay. Um, so, you know, better than that. Time is obvious. This card is good and limited, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. This card yes. is fantastic and limited. Yeah. Blue removal. Yeah. I think blue has a lot more removal than some of the other colors that are supposed to have removal. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's funny like that. Okay, so Clash of Wills. As a control player, Tony. No. No? I don't think so either. Uh, Syncopate was better than this because oh, of the exile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it. Marginally, saw plays like a one or two of maybe, mm -hmm. and this is there's so many better options that are actually yeah. hard counters. Like I mean, we'll, three, we'll get to it. They gave us calculated dismissal too, and that's yeah, there's that. Probably there's a dissipate. There's dissolve. There's one of our scorn. Yep. There's just so many better disdainful things. Disdainful stroke. Yeah, you know, disdainful uh, stroke. Nullify. Nullify negate. Yeah, it's just I mean, is this the battle between Swan Chase and the Ark and Alhamarad? Yeah, this is the Alhamarad is his uh, mentor. Yeah, it's I like know, the guy that's what I'm saying. This is their uh, battle, then. It's pretty insane. He's the, I love that the flavor of it, too, because Clash of Will... It reminds me of a DBZ beam battle. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's that's pretty cool. Um, but I don't I don't really think we'll see too much play either. For the same reason, that's exactly the reason I gave it. Syncopate only saw one or two of play in most decks, and it was it's much better than that card. Yeah. So, And I have seen people online saying, like, Syncopate is not necessarily better than this card. Yes, it is. Yes, it yeah. is. In every way. Hey, I mean, you'd almost, uh, literally, I can't think of pretty much any situation where I would rather not exile a guy. Yeah. But anyway, um, next up. 
Uh, next up, we got Hydro Lash, and this is a fine blue combat trick that replaces Maybe, itself. Yeah. I love that it can't trace. Yeah. Uh, if it didn't draw the card, it would be just terrible. In limited, uh, it's going to be that thing that helps you take two less damage, maybe survive and buy you a turn, draw an extra card, help you dig <coughs> for uh, the answer that you need in your deck and whatnot. So in limited, I think it's just fine. How do you feel in limited? Uh, it's, the draw card's good. Yeah. The neg two nego, I mean, that can help you not lose a creature or not die at yeah. the end, but I mean, you were going to play something else, honestly. These hydro effects... These water effects they're now they're now associated with, mm -hmm. I think never worked the way they're intended to. Yeah, like I think what they was supposed to have is they're supposed to swing in, all right, and you block with your guys, and normally your dudes would trade, mm -hmm. but in this situation they don't trade, but they still kill the guys that you know that yeah. they're blocking. Um, it almost never works that way. Yeah, never. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I like it that much. Um, here's a card I like. What's this, John? Jessian. <laughs> I gave you like the most impossible thing for now. Jessian V. <laughs> Jesse and Thief. I got Jesse and Beef with this card. Sexy um, rogue building climber. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, she's Prowess. Good um, this card's good. Yeah, I like this card a lot. For this card's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. All day. Probably. People are pushing it for standard play. It's not going to do that. But, um... This is, what you, this is what you play instead. Going to. This is what yeah. you play instead of the last one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah, they're both three mana cards. You always play this instead. Yeah, um, yeah Jesse and Thief, we can all agree, is... Good. Good. Um, John Finkel won uh, 1998 Worlds off the back of Ophidian. This is actually strictly better than Ophidian. So you play that? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, here's a card I like. This is Psychic Rebuttal and will, will come out of the sideboard against a lot of decks, I think, for your control builds. Um, this will come out of the sideboard. Imagine, imagine, friends, countering Lightning Strike. We all know that. Yeah. Imagine countering Stoke the Flames. We all get that. Imagine countering, say, Abzan Charm. Yeah. Imagine countering, say, Atarka's Command and copying that. Ooh. Imagine copying Dramoka's Command after you've countered it. Ooh. This card is fantastic. Exactly. That's awesome. I'm sorry, this but this card is, is very good. Yeah. Not only does it counter their removal, but it kills one of their guys. Nine times out of ten, it kills one of their guys. And, you know, the thing about red aggro especially is that there comes a time against control where you have to go over the top and kill them with lightning strikes. Mm -hmm. Burn. It has to happen. So not only does this counter the lightning strike they're trying to go to the dome with, but it also kills one of their dudes. Like, or throws the lightning strike back at them. Also, uh, notice that this can kill Goblin Pile Driver. There are people asking if it can. Yeah, this has the, this is in no way is this blue associated with yeah. Goblin Pile Driver. Like, if you copy lightning strike, you can then yeah. target Pile Driver with lightning strike. Okay. Um, so this is a way for blue decks to deal with Goblin Pile Driver. Um, so there's that. I I think this card is fantastic, and if I if I had the courage to say it, which I think I do, I think this is actually the best counter spell in the uh, in the set. It reminds me of Gambit with no cards. It doesn't look like Gambit. It's Chase, yeah, which is why it reminds me of Gambit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can, I, I can actually see that. It is think, actually one of the best counter spells in this set. In this set, I think the calculated dismissal is good, but Psychic Rebuttal will will see play in sideboards, yeah. and maybe even one of in the main deck. I can see that. Um, this is Sigil Starfish, Patrick Star. We don't have to talk about him. Nah. He does have a fan base. People like him, but I don't okay. care. I like the star. Here is uh, Scab Goliath, one of the biggest creatures in the entire limited format. The highest toughness in the entire format, and he is blue. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, blue technically has one of the biggest creatures. And um, he's got trample. Are we sure this guy's not supposed to be green? Green? Right. I, I like this guy a lot, actually. In oh, Sealed. Yeah. In Sealed, I think this guy's fantastic. And Splashable? Mm-hmm. So, yes, easily. This yeah. is easily playable and limited. Awesome. I mean, I, you'll probably have two guys in the graveyard. Yeah, know, easily. By the time you cast them, sure. It's fine. Uh, for anybody that wants to do, uh, like, a Phoenix deck, he's got nine toughness, which is... <laughs> <laughs> it's evil. <laughs> it's cute, too. He's not really hard to get on the field, either. Yeah. Coming up next is a card that uh, I am just absolutely in love with. Um, this, is, this is Sphinx's Tutelage, and it just has... I have all the feels. For this card, feels. all the feels, man. I, we've been mill players have wanted a card like this for literally the the existence of Magic. Yeah, we've had Jace's you know? Erasure, but yep, that yep. is not this. No, I like Jace's. Oh God, imagine this and Jace's Erasure. Oh God, God, jeez, man. Um, Guaranteed to mill. Please, three. please, can we do that? That's crazy. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll put a casual deck tech out for that. Remind yeah. me. Fuck it, do modern. 
Still, Mario, you play Erasure and Modern. I mean, Ooh. you can try and make that work. Maybe. Let Ooh. us know if you have any interest in that, because I really, I think that this is Erasure. It's hilarious. I'll try and make it work, but I'm, I make no promises. Um, here's what, here's, here's my thing with Sphinx's is tutelage. Um, first of all, Days I'm Doing. Yes. Everyone's saying that. Days I'm Doing. <laughs> draw seven, they mill all their cards. <laughs> um, <laughs> people are saying this with um, Dark Deal. That's the thing where you discard your hand and draw that many cards. There's also that. Um, I like this in Bant Enchantments. Uh, my idea for Bant Enchantments, I'm going to say this really, really quickly because it's slightly complicated. Use the three mana green enchantment that whenever a guy power three or greater comes in the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Use Eidolon of Blossoms, draw a card. All right. Um, use Starfield of Nyx. That's what, that way you're going to bring an enchantment back into play pretty much every single turn. That way you're drawing at least three cards a turn. You have tutelage in play. You're just going to, you're, you're going to win. Not to mention that you're going to draw cards. You're going to draw those three cards, likely enabling you to draw more enchantments, thus drawing more cards. So you're just going to mill them out in like two turns. Yeah. You know, I, I, and this, that's so casual sounding, but I want it to be a thing so bad. I've been playtesting with uh, Sphinx's Tutelage, and it's good. Uh, if nothing else, when you do the draw and mill thing, you're usually going to get two to three cards. Like, there's plenty of cards that are multicolored, that share types, oh, well, share colors, yeah. I mean, and it just, it happens. It just I'm, falls into place that way. We will see more monocolored aggro decks. Oh, know, yeah. We'll see white soldiers, red goblins, we'll see green, black um, elves. Yes. But my point is there will be probably a, 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 a less of a amount. concentration of three-colored decks. This is a very good card for limited, I think. This is Tower Geist. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah. yeah I too, think too. this it feels like a reprint. I don't know if it is, but it feels it is, like a yeah. reprint. I think it is. Like was this an Innistrad? I think it might have been. I remember um, seeing this. It looks before. like an Innistrad. Yeah. yeah, it does. Uh good card. Good card for limited. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. One of them I mean you get to draw a card, you get to filter, it flies. Good card. Yeah. Like a lot. Oh, speaking of good limited cards, uh, this is Turn uh, Frog. Turn yeah. Frog. Turn Frog is yeah, back, yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Turn Frog. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Blue gets all the good removal this set. Yeah, <laughs> Blue Frog really is does. Such a great combat yeah. trick. Turn Frog, one of the best combat tricks in limited history, and uh, you'll play it. <laughs> you'll play this card. Very, very insanely good. Oh, insanely good and limited again. Here is Whirler Rogue. Yeah, this and thing. This freaking thing is maybe the best uncommon in blue for limited. Very as, possibly. Yeah, as far as the artifact deck is concerned, <coughs> all day, and even then, just, it makes the two artifacts, which lets its, uh, you know, tap effect right. viable and everything. Yeah, it makes so, its yeah, own tap way, effect happen. That's yeah, so all the way around, it's really good, and yeah. it's constantly reusable as long as they don't kill it off. Yep. If you can, you know, get multiple Enter the Battlefield triggers off of this, it's good. You know, we talked earlier and read about Pia and Kiranilar. This is the exact same thing. Four power, four, for four, yeah. Four mana for four power. This split amongst three creatures, two of which fly. Like, it's just all of that is good. Oh, and, and, that, and your next turn, you could be potentially like doing Rogue's Passage. Like, yeah, so yeah you exactly. Have, you have a Rogue's Passage. Yeah, it's this like, guy. It's, 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 unblockability and limited is good. Um, unbelievable. <laughs> Here's yet another good blue card. What does this yeah. tell me? Uh, now we got Artificer's Epiphany. Yep. Because uh, just like that, we have an Epiphany and then it's gone. It's gone. Uh, and it's gone. Yep. Uh, in the artifact deck, I use this and it's great. In by the way, I'm gonna say this in limited. Even if you're not playing the artifacts deck, but you are playing blue, this is a fine card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a fine card. Three mana instant speed, draw two, discard. Who cares? But yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's fine. Instant speed, draw two at three mana. That's that's a fine card. Yeah, all day. Like it? I like it. Like it? I love that it's common. Yeah, this is a common. Mm -hmm. This is the first common. Yeah, that's the first common. Um, really, really good at coming. Kind of looks like the guy from Back to the Future, but younger. I've been trying to figure out who he looks like. He sort of looks like Kramer to me a little bit from Seinfeld, the giant eyebrows. I can see that. Uh, uh, they're the you know? Like, oh, Siler Siler from Siler, Heroes? Yeah, Siler, yeah Siler, I can Siler, see that. Siler, Siler, Siler. I, yeah, he looks just like Siler from Heroes. Um, and he's doing something Siler would be doing. Yeah, that's a Siler. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's who he is. I've been trying to figure out who he looks like forever. This next card, I know exactly who he looks like. This guy looks like Obama to me. <laughs> um, but not, not like not in a disparaging way. I have I got no problem with Obama. I just I, I no, no the resemblance is uncanny. It's, it's like that. Obama embraced the culture of India. <laughs> <laughs> Does people? There are already conspiracy theories about this card. By the way, I want to throw this out here for all the idiots. Um, there's a, people are saying that this is Obama doing the Nazi thing. Oh yeah, oh, isn't oh, that ridiculous? That's, so <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, but that's that's 
that's the internet. Um, <laughs> that oh, is the internet. Oh my god. Yeah, you shame. Can't, you cannot unsee it once you've seen it, though. Oh, uh, um, lower my head in shame. Yeah, it's not, it's, ladies and gentlemen, it is not Obama doing the Nazi thing. Um, what it is, is a very good limited card, I think. I mean, four man is a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. But two creatures, both of which fly, I think that's important, mm -hmm. is probably good. Is probably good. I would like it a little... I would be more hyped and on board with this if he was a 2-2. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that would, that would be incredible. What do you think? The in in limited guy. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I, think it's, I think it's really good. I, I love any card that gives you an extra 1-1. One, one, yep. You know, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> splashable. They both fly. I, just, yeah. I, I think there's a lot to like about it. Yeah. I play one or two. Make for a good Flyers deck in limited. This is Bone <laughs> to Ash, which is uh, probably fine and sealed. We've had it before. It was oh, fine yeah. and sealed before. Oh, yeah, and sealed, it's fine. Yeah. I, just, um, I won't play it in standard. Yeah. Artwork reminds me of Evil Dead. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was also trying to figure out, like, Bone to Ash. Hmm. Is there a Pokemon joke in there? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Pokemon There is a Pokemon joke, and it's probably sexual. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, play this in sealed? Yes. Don't play this in constructed? No. All right. All right, calculated dismissal. Everyone's m most favorite and least favorite counterspell. Um, um, I think that this card is quite good. I'm going to back up Devin because I have stats to prove it. Yay! <gasps> I get backed up. I wasn't sure you were going to back me up. Oh, I, really, yeah. I really um, wasn't. <laughs> I play tested with this in uh, different control decks, and it was just fine. It was just fine. Uh, in the late game, it does seem like it loses some of its power, but in the control matchup, when you start getting into the counter war, yeah, that that's pretty mana cost. Well, we've been playing that's Power Sync great. like that forever and Syncope. You know, it's sort of the last spell that gets count, uh, cast in the counter war. Same thing with Mana Leak. Yeah, and this is that again. I love and then this. potentially, I love Scry yeah, potentially I love Scry, 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 Scry Two. Scry Two is nuts <laughs> in control. <laughs> yeah. Like I, did, I was talking to a very very knowledgeable person in the comments about this card. We had a uh, back and forth discussion about why it's good, why it's bad. And, you know, he did say with Dissolve, it's a guaranteed counter, mm -hmm. you know, guaranteed, and you scry the one. Yeah. This is not guaranteed, you scry two, and I don't know if I like that. Here's the thing, I think scry two is insane compared to scry one. I mean, we yeah. all want to scry, but, and I hate being this guy, it's literally double, yeah. it's literally twice as good, but people underestimate exactly how, how good. good scrying is. Like, scrying two in a control deck is yeah. just that's just nuts it's absolutely yeah. nuts stop wondering what's next just know just know and in a control deck that's sort of your whole bag yeah, yeah. <laughs> is knowing yet another incredible blue removal piece and reprint from Ashrad. Yeah. reprint yet All another right. reprint we got so, claustrophobia yep and it's a fun limited removal piece uh probably won't see standard but if it does yeah. it would be in a uh devotion thing in the sideboard yet again bant enchantments yeah. <laughs> it's good removal of Ben Jones. Um, limited's going to cause problems. Yeah. It's going right. to cause problems. Um, limited, this is insane. Yeah. I mean, I th if you get this, you play it, it's... Pretty much your creature's going to sit there. Yep. I mean, this... got something to do about it. This but... is removal. Yeah. yeah. It's the most terrifying flavor text ever. That's... Yeah. Um, <laughs> here's Dreadwaters. Nobody played this in limited or in standard last time we saw it. I think it's probably going to be the same way this time. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. I wouldn't even put that in a budget now. Nope. Unless, of course, we see Landfall, or... This is like, this was Animist Awakening or something, I guess. Like, uh, yeah. But no. Yeah, no, but no. no. Don't do it. Yeah, but no. Hey! I want to play with it, but I don't think it's... Good. I do not think this card's good. I just want to play with it. It's existed like before, but I like it. I do like the artwork on it. I'll say that. It's cool. Yeah. But, you know. I don't think it's a good card. I just want to play with it. Yeah. I, <laughs> like, I want to make it a thing. It was a good card. Um, oh, yeah. Especially in limited, yet again, blue removal. This is Disperse. Another reprint. Yep, another reprint, and it's good. Yep. Like it's personal favorite of yours? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. I love Disperse. I do, too. I, I do, too. Um, solid. Solid. You're going to play it in blue, so play it in blue. Yep. Uh, what's this? Deep Sea Terror. Yep. The Deep Sea Terror. The Deep Sea Terror. <laughs> You yeah. don't want to be in open water when this thing comes around. Ew. Yeah, like it's, you know, in, it, it's late game in sealed. It's probably decent. Mm -hmm. you know, especially in decks that can mill themselves in sealed. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, no standard play whatsoever, obviously. No. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Um, 
<laughs> why did they do that? Like, why did they? Well, I love that it's a twist too, because usually it's like cards like this. Yeah. Um, can't attack unless like they control an island. Or yeah. You control a certain number of islands. So yeah. they've done the same thing here. It's just a different clause, and it's probably a better clause than usual. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes it, it a little is. more playable. So I might, I might play the one of. It's a big creature in blue, and it, it can still block. Yeah. So that's important too. I wish it was both creative yards. <clears throat> this I like. I, I'm not. I don't. I don't know if you guys like it as much as I do. This is a fairy miscreant, and again for the blue sort of aggro tempo deck. Oh, I know you love yeah, this. I think this is fantastic. Yeah. I really, I really like this. Yeah, I think it's I'm still in favor of running unblockable guys, but I also like running this, guy's this unblockable. guy. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I would. People are still saying you play like two or three of Gadol Lurker. Yeah. The thing that's unblockable, you know. Um, and some people are even playing the two of Hypnotic Siren. Um, me, I, I do I do like the four of Miscreant. And I, I like a dual lurker too. I do. But I just I love being able to draw the card. That's exactly what Fish wants to do. Exactly. We see a lot of um what was it, Cloud Sprite? You know, Fish and Fairies played that card for yeah. years yeah. and years. Yeah. It's the exact same card, but it doesn't have a bonus and it can't block creatures with flying. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing is a strict upgrade on that. Yeah. So I, this is a good card. This yeah, good I'm fine with it. Uh, this is Maritime Guard. It is a fine limited creature if you're you know, if you got Three. Yeah, it's one, three for two. We see these are decent and limited. I mean, it's a good twenty third card if you got nothing else. Yeah, it's just fine. Um, I don't really recommend it, but if you got nothing else, fine. Play your meddler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, negate. Uh, happy to see this reprint. Yep. Uh, big control fan over here. So yeah, I have uh, a theory that negate's literally going to be in every set from now on. It should be, or you know, in every standard from now on. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'll never rotate. So. Or, I, or I like, like that. It. I think that's good. I wish they would do that with Essence Scatter. Yeah, really. I, the Essence Scatter might be too powerful right now, though. It's, mm. you know, it's all about creatures. <clears throat> so I do think that this is probably... I called it in the set review, I called it a perfect magic card. The spoiler. Yeah. I called it a perfect magic card, and it probably yeah. is. You yeah. Know? It's, it's never changed. It doesn't get, like, revamped and upgraded or anything. It's perfect the way it is. It's, just, it's good. Yeah. I, I love the artwork on this card. <clears throat> well, this right coming, here? No, yeah. The one coming up. Oh, the one coming, coming up. up. This one. Yeah, the artwork's the best part of it, though. Yeah. Mm. That's Honestly, it. outside of that, it, it doesn't. It does nothing. I mean, I guess you could flash it in and like a guy fogs. You mm. know, yeah. Is, eh, I don't care. I don't care. It's kind of a fog. Yeah. It's a kind of a blue sort fog. of. I mean, I guess if you're tricky enough, you could flash it in like your guy wouldn't trade. But we just talked about that. It never works yeah. that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now here is an exciting limited card. This is Ring Ward now, and it is probably in the um. Oh, definitely one of the best blue commons in the set for a limited play. This card is fantastic. Yes. Yeah. This card is absolutely bonkers. Flying through three grouse in blue and yeah, awesome. Yeah. I, and it's common. Yeah, it's common. That's that's what makes it truly nuts. That you you might get two of these and it's gonna win you a game or two. Mm -hmm. Um all things considered. This is a fantastic card. So uh, no standard play, obviously. Very good and limited. Hey John. Scrap skin Drake. I love Drake's. This is Zombie Drake. I like Drake's too. Yeah, Zombie Drake. Started from the bottom. Yeah. Now we, <laughs> now we hear. Yeah. You start from the bottom, like the ground. How do undead dragons fly? Oh well, yeah, <laughs> maybe they still have all the like nerve, uh, the circulatory. Yeah, there's some in. fleshy tissue on those. Yeah, ones. exactly. They they've got the the system <laughs> to do that. I, I think this is really good again in limited. Yes. Yeah. Um, fine creature. Fine creature. We see this fine here. Creature. Blue white skies is a thing in limited, mm -hmm. and it's going to be in this limited environment too. So. I think Blue Light Skies might be the best um, archetype, actually, in Sealed. This is Screeching Scab, the artwork haunts my nightmares. <laughs> um, aside from that, I mean, this will probably do some work in Popper. Oh, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't like it for too much more than that. Now, this, this can help get you Spell Mastery quickly in Limited. This is true. So, mm -hmm. As long as you know those two spells are there. I, and also, you know, it's a two-mana, two-power guy. You don't really see that much in Blue, and mm -hmm. those are usually good. It's trades and stuff. And, Self mill lets you dig through your uh, it's library. Right. Yeah, it's not right. bad. It's just all right. Though, yeah, know? it's it's not the best thing you'll play. Yeah. Um, this, this I like. Uh, this is sin to sleep, and I think this card is much better than it looks at first glance. Oh um, yeah. This, yeah. This is like uh, what is it? Something strings. Uh... Well, it's like sleep. sleep. It is like sleep. Too, yeah. <laughs> it's I, I don't know. It it's probably better than sleep. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably better than sleep. In limited. In limited, yes. In constructed. Screw it. Because, you know, I, I talked about this. Heroic could use this to great effect. Because you do, you're playing heroic, you've got instants and sorceries in your graveyard. You yeah. know, tap those guys down during their attack step. They don't get to attack. You get to swing. 
Yeah. Next turn, they don't get to attack again. You get to swing through those same blockers. I mean, this is just, for two mana, this seems really good. Really yeah, good. for two mana to tap down two creatures and potentially have them stay tapped is great. The cards like this, this is what I want to stress because these cards are actually very good and limited. How these work is during their attack step, before they declare attackers, but during their attack step, you go ahead and tap down two guys, they don't get to attack that turn. You go, you swing through those tapped down blockers. Um, they go, they don't get to untap, so they, they again do not get to swing. You go and get another swing through those tapped down blockers. Mm -hmm. This this card is good. Yes. This card is good. I promise. And I'm not totally sure that it won't see standard play at all. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty good. It's it possible. Good. To me, it, it's, it's, it's common possible. instant. Like it's just. What's this tone? Uh, this is going to be. Uh, Separatist Void Mage. And you know how we feel about Separatists. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> no. No, actually, I to, Limited, this is a fine card. Yeah, Limited, this is fine. This, <laughs> this is fine. Yes. Yeah, limited, it's tempo awesome. and limited. It's probably good. Um, I don't think it'll make the Mono Blue Tempo deck that wants to be a thing, though. It might barely no. make the cut, but maybe not. No. So, I mean, these effects are good, though. I just. Probably strictly limited. Um, we're all glad to have Yay! Stratus walk back. Hey, buddy, Stratus Walk is here. Um, again, Bant Enchantments. <laughs> I can bring this in every turn and draw a card. Um, in any case, no, Stratus Walk is good. Obviously, um, I'm very scared there's a reason that they reprinted this. Because, you know, we know nobody really thought it would see much play, but it sees all the play in Heroic decks, Blue White Heroic. Mm -hmm. And so this will still be in the format when Heroic rotates. Why? Other things. Prowess. 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 I just, I, I do, I really like Stratus Walk. It's a fine card. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very good card. Maybe just because it's so good and limited. Oh, wow, we're almost done with blue. Holy crap. Yeah. Um, what is this, Jonathan? That is Water Courser. Water Courser. That's Some of my favorite art in the entire set right there. It's just so weird looking. I actually really like this card for limited. Yeah. I really like this card for limited. Like, don't like don't don't mind it at all. Yeah, it's it's I would I would gladly pay this. If I had nothing else to do, I would gladly pay this. And two more. <sighs> it, it just if there's nothing there, you can swing with everything. If you just need to change the little power toughness a little bit, you can do that. I mean, yeah. I hate that it can't then pump its toughness back up. Yeah, Usually these blue creatures can do that. But I you know, this gets through for four a lot of the time, you know. Uh, it's elemental. It's elemental, yeah. yeah. Good art. I, don't know. I might play a one-off copy or something if I get it. I just I don't know how great it is. Obviously, we'll see zero standard play, but yes. in limited, it might maybe be a thing. It's so as we go through these set reviews, um, I've noticed a fair amount of elemental types here and there. A lot of elementals. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of elementals. And I find I think I might finally have my case for a uh, elemental theme deck. So hmm. I'm going to try. Give it a shot. You know, it was a thing in Lorwyn for a long time. It was uh, that was an actual elemental aggro deck. It was fine. Missed that. Missed that deck. Uh, we have like three cards left here in blue. This is a phenomenal limited uh, removal piece. What is this? Into the Void. Into the Void. And it's four mana. This is great for one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And limited, this is a built-in two for one. Yeah. Um, so it is automatically good. Yep. Play it. <laughs> Here's We Fade. It's a, a fine limited card. Oh, yeah. This is also fine. I mean... People play this. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. The, the what is it? Artificers, whatever. Empathy. Yeah. Like you know, people play Epiphany. this in limited all the time. Epiphany. Yeah. Um, people play this in limited all the time. Yeah. We faint, or you know, the inspiration. The card that is it yeah. with a different name. Um, so I think if we play this, then we could probably play you know that. Oh yeah, um, all day. So. And it, it's also a common like Artificers Epiphany. Yeah. So we can be drawing some cards. Yeah. This is the final card. Uh, the probably best. One of the best creatures for blue and limited, um, and has been since the dawn of time for magic. Um, this is Mahamodi Jin, and it is, it's an OG. I mean, this has been around since 93, yeah. and uh, is freaking nuts in limited. It's good. I don't know what else you want us to tell you. It's, play it. Play it. It'll win you the game. It's been played so much before that we're seeing it again. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those callbacks they get. You know, they get a Shivan Dragon, they get a Sinjur Vampire, they get a Sarah Angel, they gave us uh, Mahamodi Jim. So, definitely, I mean, an old school crowd pleaser. And when it comes down in limited, if it sticks around, we'll win you the game. So, definitely, yeah. definitely play this. And with that, I think that's going to do it for our blue set review. Yeah. I think that, that's a, that was fast. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was incredibly was fast. Um, blue, uh, I think, is a card that is, or color that's being overlooked in limited right now. People are saying blue is not good in limited. I think those people are crazy. I agree. Uh, yeah, blue has a fantastic amount of flyers and even. 
more removal than the colors that are supposed to have removal. And plenty of draw card spells. Yeah. So, plenty of yeah. Them. And a lot, a lot of things like Harbinger of the Tides, if you can get it, but also like Separatist Void Mage, you know, creatures that provide some sort of removal when they come into play. Mm -hmm. And those are always good mm -hmm. to too. You know, body that removes a creature is fantastic. You have your turn to frog, you know, into the void, or, yeah, into the void. So there are just so many good cards for removal in blue, and I just think that blue is a very strong limited color. All day. Um, especially for a support color. You know, we see a lot of creatures that really don't do much. We don't want to play them. But blue spells are true to blue. They're freaking fantastic, so... Yeah, in pre-releases, I'm a big fan of using three colors, and I'm usually yeah. using blue. In, in, I, I think this pre-release, I might just try and play blue-white skies, mm -hmm. but I'll probably ask for white. You know, I'll probably ask for Gideon as my plane's walk. Yeah, that makes sense. So I think that white is probably the strongest color in limited, but we're about to talk about that. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna get to that. Well, make sure that whatever you do, you like, you share, you comment. And you subscribe. Yeah. That'd be really sweet of you. Um, we'll be back really soon. As a matter of fact, we're going to stop. We're going to hit uh, record here uh, and stop this recording. And then we're going to start recording the next one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time, man. I'm Dev. I'm Tony. And I'm Random. And we're Strictly Better MTG. Thanks for watching, my wizards.